So this video is going to get us started on level 2 probability um, and this is working towards an external that's worth 4 credits. So we're going to review the basics. Uh, we have probability get set up on a, a number line, a scale from 0 to 1 where we have the impossible is at 0 on the scale and if we had a 1 that's absolutely certain to happen. And you can have measures in between, so at that halfway point we might call that 50-50 or an even chance. We might also use decimals to represent um, the numbers in between 0 and 1, those probabilities that could go anywhere along that scale. We can represent this with percentages as well, uh, ranging from 0% to 100%. Um, and in that case we would call our halfway point 50% of course and we might have other ones like 80% or 34% we might want to express them as fractions so our 50% would be a half the 80% would be 8 out of 10 the 34% oh yeah the 80% that was 8 out of 10 that can also cancel down to 4 out of 5 the 34% would be 34 out of 100 Okay, so let's move on to a little bit more interesting stuff. So theoretical probability, I'm sure you can remember this, but I'm going to recap anyway. The probability is all of your successful outcomes divided by all of your possible outcomes. So for example, rolling a six. Now the number of ways that you could be successful when rolling a dice and trying to get a six is one out of six. There are six possibilities. One of them would be the successful one. You could think about um, tossing a tail when you toss a coin. The number of ways to be successful there is once, there's only one tail, and there's two possibilities, either head or tail. Uh, you might want to think about drawing an ace card from a pack of cards. So there are four possible aces that would count as a, as a success, and there are 52 cards in the pack, so it's four out of 52, which we can cancel down to one out of 13. We also have relative frequency. Now that works in exactly the same way, but this time you use the results of an experiment rather than theory. So instead of the theory of what we know should happen when you roll a dice or toss a coin or draw cards from a pack, you actually go through the experiment of trying it an, a large number of times and then seeing how many times those things came up to give you the relative frequency as your probability. Now, we have some key things with and and or. So if you see and and or in a sentence where you're working out probability, and always means that you multiply, and or means that you add. So let's see what this looks like. If I roll a dice, then toss a coin, what's the probability that I get a number that's more than four and a head? Okay, so we've got the probability of getting a number more than four on a dice is two out of six. The, if you think of the numbers 1 to 6, there's only 5 and 6 that would count as successful when we're thinking about is it more than 4. So there's 5 and 6, that's two numbers out of 6 possibilities. Uh, now when tossing a coin, um, we've got two possibilities. We want to do the, the number more than 4 and a head, that means we're going to multiply. Now we have a probability of getting ahead is being a half. So we're going to do 2 out of 6 times 1 out of 2. Now you can pop that into your calculator or you can do this on paper or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Most of the time you're going to be using your calculator and that will simplify things down automatically for you so it gets the final answer of a sixth. Now let me show you exactly how that works here. I've listed all of the possibilities that you could get when you roll a dice and toss a coin. So you could get a 1 with a head, a 2 with a head, a 3 with a head, and so on. All, the, all of them are shown there. So you've got 12 possible outcomes. Now which of these fit this category where it gives you a number more than 4 and a head? So all of th these ones here, we've got the 5 with a head and a 6 with a head. That means it's 2 out of 12 possibilities, which cancels down to the 6th that I just showed you. Okay, let's have another go. The probability that the dice shows a 2 or a 4 in this situation. So the or means we are now going to be adding, not multiplying. So the chance of getting a 2 is 1 out of 6. You can only get a 2 in one possible way, so that's the 1 out of 6 possible outcomes. 
and it's the same for a four. There's only one way to roll a four from a six-sided dice. So we have the six plus a six, which gives us two sixths, which cancels down to a third. And I'll show you on this list of outcomes that we've got. Here's all the ones that would give us a two or a four. There are four of them out of our 12 possibilities, which cancels down to a third.